in the class uh, last week we made some miniature envelopes okay and i'm going to show you how to make those these are lovely to put a little message in to stick into one of your pages you can stick it in open and put a little label in or you can um, use it as part of the cover of your book that i might stick it on this one as part of the cover and there's, um, it's just about folding paper and I want to show you the process of that. And you all made a really good effort last week to make this. So I'll do it step by step. Okay, so this is your miniature envelopes. And I need my ruler. So if you get your square six by six and put it on the diagonal and from point to point, if you just draw a line on the wrong side, the side that you don't want to show, and just draw your line with pencil or a pen, just lightly, okay? And then I want you to fold the six by six piece point to point. Okay, and let's just make a crease there. So this is where my little bone comes in handy. It makes a really tight crease. Okay, then open it up again. And then we want to fold this point to the middle line that we have just made and the point on the center line that's running up the paper and you can do this with any size square paper you can make a bigger envelope if you want so we're folding the point up to the middle line and then we'll fold that middle line again as it was folded now from the middle line you're always working from this middle line if you measure one and a half inches so i'm just going here one and a half inches i'll just make a dot here and from the line one and a half inches the other way that's the half inch mark okay and one and a half inches there okay it just squares it up a bit and then you put your ruler onto that line fold that up so as you can see that, that will and the same for this side, almost making two wings, folding that up that side. Okay, so you have two wings and I want you then to fold one in along, flat along the bottom there and crease it up the side and the same. So you can see that these two wings are overlapping and keep them straight along the bottom, as straight as you can. Straighten the bottom first and then crease the side. Okay, so I can do that with my little bone. Okay, and that's got your envelope shape. Now, I want you to keep it open at this stage and you've got your central line there. So I'll use the ruler for this. You see your center line point to point. So I want you to put your ruler along the center line and you have this little bit at the bottom. I want you to fold that back, take your ruler out of the way and give that a crease. Okay, and then put that up on a point as if it's like a little nose sitting out. Okay, so you have that and just open that and put the center of it onto the center point there. And this creates a little catch in your envelope. Okay, you see that? And then you want to sort of see how far you need to put this down to get the point to go into that. So you're going to make a fold and it's not necessarily at the tip of the triangle there. So come down a bit and fold that in there. Okay, but you can see I could even have come further down and that catches the top of your envelope into the little catch. And then what I have done is I have put a line of PVA glue, just a thin line along here so that it seals it completely and you have your little envelope that opens and closes and you can put whatever you want in it. Okay, perfect little envelope. I think I would have liked the lid of this down further, so I'm going to do a second crease in this. Yeah, I think it could come down to there. 
And yeah, I'm happier with that, that that actually comes down into that little catch. Then you can add a tiny embellishment or a bead onto this. You can put some string in around it. You can have it hanging. And they're a great little gift envelope for giving money, if we give money now to children without transferring it to their bank account. Um, or you can put a little ring inside it or a piece of jewellery. Uh, these are others that I've finished in different patterns. Or you can have them on a page and put little messages inside them. Uh, someone's name, you can put different names onto them if they're different messages for different people. I hope you enjoy making these. They're a simple little project. I haven't glued any of these, so I say a little line of glue will help and maybe a little bead or an embellishment on them. And you can glue them closed if you don't want them to be opened um, until a certain time. Thank you.